Over the past few years, the Edmonton Oilers' priority at the draft table has been stocking the organization with skilled forwards. Beyond first-round picks Dylan Holloway, Xavier Borgo, and Reed Schaefer, the Oilers appeared to have found themselves some gems in the later rounds. One of those players is Matt V. Petrov, who the Oilers snagged in the sixth round of the 2021 NHL Draft with the pick that they offered to Kyle Dubas in exchange for Zach Hyman's UFA rights. Petrov was the number one overall selection in the 2020 CHL import draft by the North Bay Battalion, and he was described at the time as one of the most talented players in Russia for his age. Petrov scored 22 goals and 42 points in 58 games in 2020-21 playing in the MHL, which is essentially Russia's version of the CHL as the OHL season was wiped due to COVID. The sentiment around Petrov ahead of the 2021 NHL draft was pretty much the same as it was one year earlier when he was the top CHL import pick, which is that he stood out with the puck on his stick, but his play away from the puck left quite a bit to be desired. The Oilers wound up snagging Petrov in the sixth round of the draft, quite a bit lower than he was ranked by just about every major scouting outlet. Following a 40-goal, 90-point, 18-year-old season in the OHL in 2021-22, it's become incredibly puzzling that Petrov fell as far in the draft as he did. Even with the questions surrounding his play away from the puck, Petrov boasts the most important skill in hockey, which is the ability to score goals, so you'd think a team would have taken a flyer on him sooner. But the reality is that scouting was a big challenge during the pandemic for a variety of different reasons, and we're going to eventually look back on the 2020, 21, and 22 draft classes and find a wealth of players who were selected much lower than they should have been. So far, Petrov is one of those players. Among 18-year-olds in the OHL in 2021-22, only four players scored more goals at a higher per-game clip than Petrov did. Mason McTavish, who was drafted number 3 in 2021, Brendan Othman, who was drafted number 16, Wyatt Johnson, who was selected number 23, and Ryan Winterton, who went number 67. That's some very good company for a sixth-round pick. While Petrov is eligible to join the Bakersfield Condors of the AHL this fall since he was drafted out of Russia and not the CHL, we'll likely see the Oilers keep him in the OHL for another season. The Oilers have a handful of wingers turning pro and having Petrov try to make the transition as a 19-year-old doesn't seem necessary. It'll be exciting to see what kind of numbers Petrov can produce in his second go-around at the OHL level, but the important thing at this stage of his career is rounding out the other aspects of his game, such as his explosiveness, physicality, and defense. Spending a season working on these skills against lighter competition in the OHL will make Petrov's eventual transition to the professional game much smoother.